Hi, Clyde Savannah Elementary Band students, and welcome to our YouTube page. Uh, I created this to have something for us to play and practice while you're at home for our school closures. Uh, you should have gotten a packet on the last day that you were in school, which should have been Tuesday. If you weren't here on Tuesday, then you, it will hopefully be sent out to you, and you're going to get a packet of information and music that you will be able to use uh, while you're at home, while we're away from school, and that way you can practice while you're at home. And on this YouTube channel, you will find recordings, you will find videos that you will be able to hear some of our band music that we will be playing hopefully when we get back and we still have our concert. And we will also have me being able playing each instrument and playing the, your separate parts so you'll have something to actually play along with. So you'll see a fourth grade flute video that'll be, have, you know, your music that we're going to play. You'll see me playing scales. You will see me playing your music along with you. Everybody should have gotten this packet when they left on Tuesday. And this packet has four different things in it. It has a fingering chart specific to your instrument. So this is, for example, a flute fingering chart, and you are going to see all the flute fingering. So if you have any confusion while you're at home practicing, you will be able to use this to reference. So you can see the note, you can see the fingering, and you can be able to play that. You will also see, and this is something we had, the beginning band scale page, or if you are a fifth grader, you're going to see the 12, the, the scale master sheet with all 12 of those scales. Now, the only one that you should need, need to focus on at home is going to be number one, that concert B-flat scale. If you're fourth grade, you're going to be doing just the five-note scale. If you are in fifth grade, you're working on the full scale. And again, you can use the fingering chart if you forget a fingering on that concert B-flat scale. Remember that concert B-flat scale is the scale for everybody. Uh, so if you're a flute, if you are a mallet player, or if you are a trombone or baritone, that is your generic scale, scale your B-flat. If you're a trumpet, it's going to be your C scale. If you're a saxophone, it's going to be your G scale. If, it's, if you're a French horn player, you, it's your F scale. And same thing with clarinet. If, it's, if you're on clarinet, it is your C scale. So that's what you'll see in there. And you're focusing on number one in the scale page. And... For fourth and fifth grade, this will be a little bit different, but you're going to see your band music. Most of you hopefully should have already have your band music and be able to practice for at least Beethoven's ninth if you're a fourth grader. Uh, fourth graders will have even an extra song in there to practice, but it's all the same notes that we've been practicing throughout our lessons for the past four or five months. And same thing for fifth grade. You will have your band music, you will have your scale packet, and your fingering chart. So... This is hopefully what you'll be able to practice at home if you can find time. I know this is a difficult time for everybody. Maybe while you're at home, you're not used to not being at school. But please, you know, if you have some time, please take some time, maybe 20 minutes or four or five days out of the week or a couple days a week and try to play this together. Uh, again, this YouTube channel will have instrument specific videos. So if you are a fifth grade trumpet player, you can play, play along with me when I'm playing your band music and you can play your scales with that. There will also be uh, your, I will play some examples or share some examples in the YouTube channel of our full band concert that you'll be able to just kind of hear how does this sound all together. Anyway, I hope that you uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to when we can all get back together. Thank you.